We are back at Waterloo. What is up, Kingsman? Welcome back to another NTW3 tournament battle today. Like I just said, we are at Waterloo with the 181587 Coalition cores, which I'm not mistaken are the cores, at least some of them that were at the Battle of Waterloo. And of course, like I said, the map of Waterloo. Now we have the RC as the Imperials playing against the Grenadiers of Nassau. Who are playing as the coalition first i'm gonna go over the cores real fast but before that um let's pull up the stats here of where everybody's at you can see here um i'm gonna slow this down again i have to do this a lot now with the french moving so quickly rc who are playing the french they are top of the scoreboard right now Granaders of nassau kind of near the uh near the the closer to the bottom which you know that just makes it that much more of a fun battle, especially looking at how hard fought this battle was. Um, it's going to be a very, very interesting fight. Can the the Grenadiers of Nassau break or take down the RC, the top clan, in today's fight? Well, join me to find out. So on the French side, we have an 8-point D'Arlorne, um, a 8-point Kellerman, um, a... 10 point Imperial Guard and then a 9 point Real on the Coalition side. You have a 9 point Oxbridge Cav Corps, um, Orange of Nassau 11 pointer, 7 point Hill, and an 8 point Perch, who is the Prussians, who I do believe will be here on the flank. And of course, I'm assuming Wellington will be somewhere. I'm assuming uh, they have to have Wellington, right? Maybe not. Actually, I don't think Wellington is here today. They have Oxbridge. Yeah, Hill's there, but Perch is a Prussian instead. Ah, uh, so, you know, Napoleon and <laughs> Wellesley are not there. We do have, oh, a sneaky charge by Chasseur Cheval. This building has fallen to the enemy. As the Dutch are the ones holding the center. I'm assuming Hill is in support, but I see mostly Dutch infantry right now holding the center I've seen a lot of this core lately I feel like the last last battle before this one now we do have artillery over here it does look like hill may be actually on the flank here um for uh you know hugemont and that may be another place we'll see where the french push you have a lot of form forming up a lot of french forming up here they do have a large <clears throat> excuse me um, a large four gun 12 pounder of course you have the cav core oh, I'm losing my voice already all right all right we're all good uh we have the cav core Kellerman lots of cross years I'm really hopeful I'm gonna see some nice cav plays by them with so much heavy cavalry hopefully they do not go without infantry support But Le Haison, the first attack being made. Keep in mind the Imperial Guard in reserve as they should be. A lot of French infantry rolling down the road and along the high ground here. Maybe they're trying to hit the 11 pointer before, you know, Hill gets up to reinforce or Perch gets up to reinforce or even the Cav Corps from Oxbridge. But here we go. Prussians made their appearance for just a second. And of course, you have cavalry funneling in. Some land there. Lancers, Ulanin. Well, look at the French. They are not stopping this attack. Such large units. The rolling of musket fire already becoming thick. Starting to struggle to hear. Probably orders being given. Ooh, that's going to be a nice, bloody volley. Give us a show, shall can you? Come on, the third. Fire. Oh, gosh, I ruined it. Man, they are getting chopped up so far. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh. Brutality. Yeah, that's forcing them to slowly back away from the LLC. Of course, they are not 
get me up. Looks like we have some cavalry flashing here. Things still looking good. Rants getting threatened maybe by what I assume is Hill's core. But honestly, with Kellerman pushing up, I expect the Prussians may have some... Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, this is going badly. Cavalry charge in for the Prussians, but they are having morale wavering already. As now we have Oxbridge on the field. Is Cavalry poised to help? But man, I man, that's this is gonna be a rough one, guys. This is gonna be a really rough one. All right, looks like the cavalry actually stops the French dead in their tracks. Breaks one, but they do break as well. Still, it's causing the French to reconsider. I mean, Lehaison's being defended fiercely at this point. The cavalry support, not a lot of infantry support here. I'm going to make for a bit of a tough defense for the coalition so far. You, of course, have... Uh, are they abandoning Hugoma? No, they're not. I'm seeing not the greatest troops on the coalition side. This gives me a pause to, like, get concerned here. I'm not seeing those British lines, honestly. I'm not really seeing them. I'm seeing a lot of cheaper infantry going against this French force that is, honestly, at this point, was at the peak performance. Look at that. So many Frenchmen just ready. I mean, they're getting hit by artillery. It's it's bloody. It's bad. But they are here to win it for Napoleon. Oh, we have something happening over here. I'm seeing a French that seems... The French seem a little bit more coordinated at this moment. Um, then again, we haven't seen a lot of the coalition, but I'm not seeing a lot. We have seen contingents here and there everywhere, but oh my gosh. Imperial Guard are being committed extremely early as obviously, you know, this they're poised to strike. The they're poised to strike a death blow into the 11 pointer. Look at them. All ready to take La Hazel. And Prussia is uh, being on the defensive. They may actually give up for the time being this uh, this LOC. But, oh wait, what? There's Hill, I'm assuming. Yeah, this must be Hill. Hill's on the flank. And that does throw a wrench into the French plans. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe they just ignore it and keep pressing oh. into the coalition. Oh. Our general is under attack. Either way, we do have Kellerman getting into it with this French force, or this, sorry, this coalition force. Get some nice cab charges off, breaking one of the lines here. Oxbridge is going to be pushing up now. He's going to have to. Let's got the Scots Grays. Still a defense for Hugomont. We'll see if the French ignore that. Look at the force. I do believe Lehaison has fallen. Yep, they do take it with those Grogonards. Oh, we have a cavalry engagement over here on this side. They're going to form a square. Yeah, they form a square, but still, Hill, who I'm assuming is, only assuming this is Hill, is, uh, that means 11-pointer, sorry, I didn't mean to yell, 11-pointer is ranged all along. He's defending an entire, I mean, probably with, uh, Perch here on the left, he can defend mostly the right, but that means, you know, yeah, they have a whole force pushing in with Roland Hill. There he is. 
pushing in on the on the total flank here. He probably has the most. Oh, although Prussia is pushing in coordination, this is this is a very good push. I expect great things from this push. France, those pulling back, wisely pulling back. You have cavalry trying to slow him down. Yeah, this is this is a bit of a of a problem point here, I think, for the Imperials right now. You can see they are just getting outflanked. They have no cavalry support. Kellerman's probably gonna shift over cavalry. I hope Oxbridge is as well. This is the point. This is where you need... I mean, Hill needs to be very, very aggressive and keep pushing on this flank. He had multiple units caught out here, but still. Russia is being aggressive as well. I like to see it. Going in the... Ooh, offensive, but some withering volleys from the French. Gonna cause them to stop and maybe try to pour in a volley as France gave a nice volley and is pulling back already. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that through the smoke. And I think they actually catch the first. Our men are running, sir. Square formed on the flank to kind of defend them, but this square is in jeopardy. I mean, man, Roland Till should be going a lot faster here. He should be pushing into this. There we go, though. Kellerman and the Imperial Guard. Oh, is that the Polonaise? Oh, no. I don't think it is. Still, very good Lancer unit. Let's see what they can do. Oh, this poor skirmisher unit. They're dead. Look at that the flag in the corner. Here we go, the fighting happening in a different spot already than the normal fight would have been, obviously, on uh, the day of Waterloo. What are they doing? What? Okay. I don't know where they're, go oh, they're going for the guns. They are totally going for these guns and there is nothing anyone can do to stop it. <clears throat> a nice snipe a very nice snipe Oop, just muted myself uh they had another snipe for the guns they did not get them but this is proving to be a very interesting fight here oh i've been totally ignoring this little fight for hugomont not a lot's happening, honestly. It's a little bit of a line fight. You can see there's just kind of more slow and steady. This is where the real fight is raging. And a nice flanking volley breaks that Hussar unit. This is actually a concerning point here. I believe the Imperial Guard, yep, being called in here. They're gonna try to take on the British. Now, if they can get close, guys, in melee, then it is all over. That's why I'm saying Oxbridge needs to be over here. He needs to be. Look at the Cav. The Cav in support of this French line. Right now, the UK has some beautiful volleys and they got some nice firepower on that flank. Oxbridge is harassing the French over here. Did lose a guard, horse guard unit. Oh, we got some more from Nassau. Pushing over. Over on this side, does look like we have uh, some cavalry. Chopping up some skirmishers. Oh, they break. Probably the square formation here. 
But you see, the French are not being in super earnest. Obviously, the bigger fight happening here. Oh, let's see. Cavalry went in from Keller. Still, though, they're going to get nice and close. Just what needs to happen. Just what the doctor orders. Get close. Oh, Oxbridge is here, though. And I'm seeing some real wavering. Oh, man. They're dropping so fast. This, this oh, my. oh, that is rough. Absolutely rough. They're still holding the on. Honestly, they need to ignore this. Probably. And just keep pushing on this flank over here. We have a lot of cavalry massing up here. Oxbridge does not have very much to support this fight. We can see that first initial attack by the Imperial Guard gets thrown back. And it may be up to Kellerman to make a push. It looks like the A-Pointer is going to be pushing over with reinforcements. Because this flank, the UK should be really, really digging into this flank now. I mean, they absolutely can. They can exploit it. The cavalry can do nothing if they can form squares. I don't know what Perch is doing. He's chasing three Crossier units. This is not going to go well for him. It'd be better to be defensive with his cavalry, but, you know. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, that's probably a, that's a bad, that's a, that's a, that's a poorly chosen tactic, in my opinion. The pair guards throwing in the reserves. The Chessers, some very excellent shooting. France is kind of disengaging from Hugomont. It does seem like they're going to be leaning into this assault. Let's see if... Man. That is insane. They didn't notice it. Okay. Okay. Seriously. This cavalry needs to stay back and be defensive. That's all they need to do. Now, if I was the UK right now, these guys are seen, they're not hidden. Now is the time to run away. At least on this flank until Oxbridge gets there to defend you, because there's infantry with cavalry, all just poised to strike. Oh no, I, that's one of my favorite Lancer units. And that may be, ah, uh, they'll get away. Man, this, this fighting is brutal though. But they're getting minced up here. This line is just, it's too much for the French. And we do have the sappers breaking part of the 11 pointers, Nassau, Dutch troops. But this is where, in my opinion, the, it's probably gonna shift. This is the pivotal moment in the battle, guys, where France is probably gonna start winning. The reason I say that is just because these infantry are getting extremely close. Cavalry poised on the rear. Oxbridge is not close enough to assist at least these four first units. They're going to form square and they're going to bayonet charge them. It's going to happen. The faint charge and then the bayonets go in. And Oxbridge should be here. Now we do have some... Heavy Cav meeting the Crossiers. But still, France is going to get a nice charge off here. Fresh reserves pushing forward once again here. This is a make it or break it moment here. A massive cavalry charge is going to come off. And this truly is up in the air. Two of the greatest cavalry corps. How did they win that? Let's say they're going to break now, but... Two great Cav Corps fighting here. And the, the Scots Grace have not been engaged yet. More cavalry funneling into this kind of kill zone. More infantry pushing over France's prioritizes. Don't back charge. Okay, actually, that's a nice flanking charge. Oh, guys, this is for the money. This is for the win. This Cav engagement. Whoever wins this wins this battle, in my opinion. So this is a high stakes. Oh, the Scots Grays going in. Oh, 
these cavalry units are so matched. Oh no! The canister! The canister may abs- Nah, it's- Well, they think it's a side charge off. That may be it, but I'm seeing France breaking here. Ah, there's- there's a lot of cavalry here for the French. I think the UK may be outplayed right here. And the Scots Grays do break that first initial- wait. Scots Grays do... Try to get Scots Grays out of there because he's getting flanked here. Kellerman's going in with all cavalry available. I'm surprised the general wasn't even close to nearby. But I'm seeing the French starting to pull it off. They are absolutely winning this. This may be... This is it. That, I think, may have sealed the Coalition's fate. We will see. You know, maybe they can still do something here. We have the French in the Prussian lines. Our men are running for Look at this battle, though. Here we go, yep. See that infantry with cavalry in coordination. And there's no cavalry really left. They have one or two units, but they're probably exhausted. But at this point, maybe it's time to throw them in. They have to. They have to throw them in. They have to throw cavalry units to stop the French cab. See, you have more infantry pushing up here as the UK start breaking. It is going to become very apparent who is going to start winning this. Now, we do have cavalry that have to commit to this. The French cavalry is tired. Oh, look at this general in the thick of it. Look at him. Look at this Chad. He's just sitting in this square like, Stand fast, man. Hold fast. We'll break bone here. I'm sure he'd be saying that. Here we go. Yeah. Oxbridge not giving up as he should not. Fighting to the bitter end he has to hold. Oh, Perch is getting bayonet charged here. But it is going terribly not in his favor. And the mass route seems to be uh, going here. The French have had their breakthrough. And I've seen that six units so far for the Coalition 7. And 8, 9. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is going, this is going the adverse. This is not going well anymore. That, that is unfortunate. That cavalry chart, that cavalry fight was for it. And I think... I think it just came down to numbers, honestly. I think the quality of Oxbridge is a little bit better than Kellerman, but Kellerman has some good units, but he has a lot more of them. And uh, I think that may have been the make it or break it moment here. Now we do have... Oh, Oxbridge was a little bit more scattered, I think. Looks like he's still trying to push in here. Now the problem is the French... They are pretty bloody too, guys. They are pretty bloodied. They outnumber the the coalition, but not by an insane amount, especially with this fresh coalition force. Now, there is not even half the battle left, so I would say this whole army should pull back and regroup with these guys, form a fresh line, let Oxbridge rest of his cavalry, and then try again. Um, I'm worried they're going to go in piecemeal. Get flanked here by the eight-pointer. That's a nice charge. Getting the skirmishers out of the way. Where are the Grenadiers that 11 pointer has, you know? I feel like those could have done a good job holding. Maybe they were in this house. Let me see if I can find uniforms on the ground. No, it was not. Not those Chads. Those have some of the best looking uniforms in the game. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can see, guys, the French are not really pushing as much. I mean, Kellerman's resting up his core. They're active now. Some of them probably were exhausted. They're fresh. They're winded. Fresh. So Kellerman's ready to re-engage if needed. He can be called into this fight again. What a fight. What a fight. Yes, sir. And some very clean plays, I would say, on both sides. I have not seen any anything where I'd be like, okay, that's kind of fishy. They've both been playing very cleanly. So, you know, props to both of the players here. Oh, friendly fire. This brave guy's gonna form up, be like, yeah, no, you're not gonna... Ooh. This guy's gonna drop. No, he gets away. Honestly, the numbers are pretty even, too. One side has tw the French have 22, 9, 50, 17, and 700. Other side has 625, 14, six. actually, no, no. I take that back. There's definitely a numerical advantage. A little bit in favor of the uh, coalition, but the quality probably is not as good. And Oxbridge is coming back with a vengeance here, breaking unit after unit. Kellerman may need to get his cavalry back. Look at this. Wait, is that a general? Oh, the general breaks. Our men are running, sir. Wow. What? What? The turnaround that's happening. This can't happen two day two replays in a row where the French are winning and then they start losing. There's no way. Come on. No way. The French need to win this. In my opinion, they, I mean, they both played very well, but I'm kind of rooting for the French at this point. Um, they had some excellent plays with their cavalry and infantry. I mean, of course, I, I uh, can appreciate the coalition's comeback after losing so big. They lost on the cav and the initial infantry engagement, they lost. But the French can't go out like this. They, they sacrificed so much. Technically... They have a two-pointer and this LOC, so technically, line of communications-wise, they have most of it. I mean, there's a four-pointer over here, and the Coalition could then loop these two one-pointers and this one-pointer. They'd have four, five, six, seven versus... Oh, no, they have a four-pointer. They have a four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they'd have, they'd have, they have enough. The Imperials may have to just base off of, uh, you know, getting the LOCs and, uh, I mean, 31 minutes remaining, they can still get LOCs, though. They're going to be defensive, I suspect. Just so unfortunate. It's like they got flung back. Just like historical, the historical realism here. They were doing so well, but reinforcements showed up just at the right moment. And now they are, uh pulling back a little bit. This is this is about where Napoleon would be like, oh no, it's all over. But is it over? Not over till I say it's over. You know. Or something like that. I'm sure that's what uh, Napoleon would be saying if he was here. Well, so they are going to start shelling this house. They have some grok. They have some very good units in here, though. These guys are being told for Napoleon, you must hold this house. They could technically even sneak a unit down this road and go grab the other one and cut off all communications for the enemy. That'd be hilarious if they did that. All right, Kellerman on the flank here. He has one, two, three, four crossiers on the flank. One in reserve. Oh no, that's a uh, that's cross the air unit. He 
these guys are ready. And there's Kellerman himself. they would have gotten away See, the Coalition, if they're smart, all they gotta do is sit back and shoot them to death. It's gonna work for them every time. Surprised they're not pushing over here, too. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Got some Lancers going around. Uh, these are grasshoppers, aren't they? Yep. Yes, sir. Oh, did I miss it? Oxbridge defending his core or his allies, setting a cavalry to stop those crossiers from being able to push. Now, his core of cavalry is very weak. Oh, they got canister, though. They had a fresh unit? Oxbridge didn't use all of his cav. Uh-oh. Wait, 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 wait. Bring that, oh, that was Riel. Oh no, there he is. Dang. Oh, he was already, he already had broke. He had already routed. So, he just got caught in the, in the charge. Imagine being a coward and running away. And then like, the battle finds you anyway. <laughs> and you get run over by cavalry because you're a coward and ran away. Here we go. Looks like uh, the French are going to try to uh, win at Hugomont. And it actually is working. They are breaking the coalition in a masterful fashion. They only have one unit that breaks, but with the cavalry and infantry together, now they just had to take the house. I mean, I'm sure there's units in the house still. Oh, man, Kellerman, for the most part, is gone. He has two cavalry units way back here, but Oxbridge has the cav. This battle is slowly but surely, guys, been falling back into... Excuse me, the coalition side of things. Of course, they still do hold this, and... Oh, we got a cheeky little... Oh, wow, they made a charge, that artillery piece. Look at these 68 men. Where's the rest of them? That can't be 68. Wait. They're still... Yeah, they're in the house. How are they in the house and also over... What? Oh, they got la They got bugged out, I bet. These guys look like they're elite, like Coldstream Guard or something, honestly. It's such a large unit. Oh, a charge down the road to save this LOC. 
Oh, there's the Grenadiers. Alright, so the Love Pointer did save the Grenadiers. We have killed their generals up. Now Ooh. they must pray. Die. Oh, the 11 Pointer, the Orange of Nassau. General is fallen. I believe that's him right there. These crosshairs try to do their best to save the battle. And it's going to lag up because they're fighting in the LOC. Or they're fighting units in the LOC. Our men are running. Wow. That charge may have helped to keep this uh, very much alive. They gotta hold this LLC, guys, or else taking the Hayson is useless. And even to take a look, Hugamon, it's useless. They have to, they have to hold this one. The hell in there, honestly. Artillery. Oh, look, there's a grenadier right there by the window. What are these? They're sharing the window. <laughs> They're both in the LOC. Okay. All right. All right. So they're both in the LOC. Uh, cavalry charge and infantry in the house again. The counterattack is starting to worry, wear away at this. Uh, the Viva la France. Viva la France. Going for a square. And wow, the tides are turning. The Cav Corps was in the wrong place. And look at this, Kellerman's coming back. That'll do. That will do. Of course, they need to take this four point tier too. They can't just take this one. They, they need to make sure they have the other one. And the troops are cut off for the moment from the four point tier. Oh, it won't matter if the coalition takes it though. They don't have the line all of communications. Running, oh, I like that. You have to have them all connected. Even if they take this four point tier, they don't have their communications are cut off here. I, and honestly, yeah, they're they're cut off. They can't do anything except for, yeah. So unless the French totally lose, which I don't think they will at this point, it is going to be an RC victory. A, a French Imperial victory. And well played. Well played. Oh, the Scots Greys are wrecking this French line. Running I think they hit a little bit too late though.
Uh, well, rip this artillery piece. <laughs> Now, there is still some French infantry presence on the field. Let's see if these guys can break the fr this, this uh, infantry unit. button you're just saying yeah so i don't think there's much the coalition can do at this point i don't think they have they can't even take back la Hazon. so the men are fatigued sir i must rest a while they can they can fight till the clock runs out or they can I mean, they can try to go for some locs they kind of have to at this point um i think there's very little time their only hope maybe is to take this loc so it obsoletes everything else but then they still there's still, you know, the question of the four-pointer, which you can see troops are moving to, uh, so it's not going to matter at all. So, um... Yeah, they're going to go for it, though. They're going to go in for this LOC. And they're already starting to die. Oh, what? He saved himself. Yeah, um... Our men are running, sir. I like how I said this was the deciding factor that if the French won this, then it was over. And in some ways, I think if the French had Our lost that cab engagement, then it truly would have been over for them and they would have lost. Um, as it was, it bought enough time to be able to pull back, even though they had lost, you know, they lost the cab advantage eventually. Um, they killed a lot of infantry that were really, really, I mean, the French death stacked up here guys like the lines of french dead from this coalition's volley it became quite bad you can see here like look at that look at that that is oh, there's some pressures in there i guess huh i guess we'd have to find exactly where the where the french dead oh, was it's along, right along here but they were dropping like flies yeah it, it was quite brutal i mean missing i guess the last little cav engagement No, not Kellerman, no. <laughs> He's like, ah, this sucks. I won the battle, but I'm getting chased to my death. Maybe he can make it to uh, Lehezon and just sitting there. He's got some cavalry chasing him, hot on his heels. Now there is a unit going uh, probably to try to link up this four-pointer, but of course the French already have it, and they have another unit pushing to it. Um, with such little time left though, guys, 10 minutes remaining, I don't think there's much of a change. If nothing changes, guys, I'll just skip to the end results uh, so we can see the results of this battle. All right, guys, so nothing really changed. Uh, the French just took all of the LLCs except for like um uh, hugamon in the other one on the far other side i can't remember the name of it uh, but anyway guys a rc french victory so hey french victory at waterloo and uh here are the results as you can see on the french side bring back militia he was playing the nine point rail got 1399 for the kills you have pope playing as mortier um 10 pointer i don't actually remember seeing that 
That must have been the, the guard. Yeah, they've guard Imperial. Uh, you got 692 for the kills. You have Al uh, playing as Darlon with 8 point. He got 1073. Then you have Young playing as Kellerman. Cavcor is 688. So you can see the kills were extremely high for them, but they were high enough to show a costly fight. Um, on the other side, you have uh, B as the 9 point Oxbridge with 700 kills. Flat Shin playing as the 11 point Lord Nassau with 1065. You have Gulio playing as, uh, oh, where is he? Oh, there is Hill, 7-pointer, 12.45 for the kills. And then you have Cyrus as Perch, the 8-point Prussia. Uh, he got 7.73 for the kills. Um, but yeah, what, what, a, what, a, what a good battle. That's a nice cav clash. some nice infantry clashes, a mix of cav and infantry. And then some nice artillery and some nice shooting lines. All the stuff that I honestly think make a good replay. And it not just being over in 5 to 10 minutes. Um, it very back and forth. So I, I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did as well. But anyway, guys, that will be it for me today. Thank you all so much for joining me. Appreciate the support as always. Um, until next time, you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And I'll catch you all in another video.